All right, I've inter integrated a new capability and it's made me a little bit depressed. Um, when we go into administration, we can now ask the question, what email has been blocked? I integrated this with the uh, email service provider and what I found is, is really kind of uh, shocking. All of these people have had emails blocked. You can see the dates on the on the left here. Um, I did set it up so that users can check their own. So if, for example this guy here, if I click on that I see this guy's user. If I go into settings and down here at the bottom check email status this again is going to show you that this person received all of these. Now what does this really mean? This is something that Yahoo just refused to deliver the mail. Uh, this is all it says. IPs, IPs, the IP address of the server, throttled by the recipient server. That's it. That's it. Yahoo says, I'm not picking up your mail because we don't like your server. Um, we're going through SendGrid. We're sending legitimate mail. Uh, what do we do about this? There's a number of other little more interesting mes messages that I think that sometimes we get. This is Hotmail. So Hotmail is saying uh, they're on some sort of a block list. Okay, you can also refer your provider to, and then there's this troubleshooting. So you can sort of go there um, and see it. But again, this is a case Hotmail is basically saying, hey, we're not picking up any email from this server because we don't like that server, which is crazy, which is absolutely crazy. Um, some of these are just mistakes. This is, uh, that is, uh, you know, a test user account Cynthia created. Uh, so it's not a real account, so that didn't get delivered. No big deal on that. Actually, I've uh, re addressed that problem in a different way. Here's another one. This one is from the Swiss Artos Foundation, and it basically says, you know, we're using this spamcop.net, and it's blocked. There it is. And so I, I guess that we might be able to see what this, let's see what this says, because sometimes you get some information on this. Um, was your email blocked? Uh, if you are not the administrator of your email, please forward this information to you. Reasons for IP listing blocking your mail server. Okay, what's that? Oh, okay. There are no re reports of, of okay, uh, sent mail to spam traps in the past. Okay, so someone sent email and spam cops have reported source of spam in less than uh, source of spam less than 10 times in the past week. I don't know. I mean, you know, so um, uh, we have some other okay, this one's Outlook. Okay, Outlook is on this mail.live.com which you'll notice Hotmail uses or something else, some others. Here's an interesting one. This guy, if you actually go here, this is pretty interesting. Um, notice this QUOT at the end. Um, if I copy that link and put it into here, um, what happened is this, is that this, this user's quota has exceeded. So we can't send mail to him because, uh, because this user uh, quota exceeded. There it is, exceeded storage uh, quota. So oh, that's interesting. Uh, that's interesting news. So, you know, you can actually go to this person here Kirsten Rudolph and of course we'll see that this has happened uh, quite a few times recently. Um, things can bounce due to address problems and things can uh, it's also possible for the receiver to mark something as spam and that flows back through the system uh, although nobody has done that. Uh, there's one person who did it two years ago, but currently we're only getting the, the, the last year's worth of, of uh, mail problems. So um, this is all very interesting. AOL, uh, AOL is, is blocking. And again, we'll see this person was blocked on AOL a lot. Um, we can now go find out what workspaces and find out you know where this where this person is working so this is facilitator certification practice group under governance alive oh this is this is actually probably John John's uh, group well John this 
users not getting getting email. <laughs> um, what else can I say? Um, there's just so many of these, and I'm really not sure what to do. Uh, you know, all of them are very different. This one's this one's the, you know, some of them. Let's just take a look at this one. Um, Hotmail and Outlook.com are the same thing somehow. I don't really realize that, but I think this one just gives you SMTP error codes. Okay, and who knows why? You know, mail rejected for policy reason. A block has been placed against. It could be this one. I didn't notice that number in the message. Uh, we are receiving complaints. We recommend enrolling in our chunk email reporting program, a free program intended to help senders remove unwanted recipients from their mailing list. In other words, this is your fault, guys. You know, we, we don't like your IP address. Um, <laughs> you know, so this is your fault. And what's crazy about this is I noticed that the the uh, send grid, um, you can actually tell it to go to different uh, IP addresses. So there's a facility for warming. I mean, this is just so crazy. The receivers are blocking IP addresses, and then the sender actually has an automated procedure for changing IP addresses and rolling through IP addresses over time. It's um, it's mind-bogglingly useless. I you know, I mean, I think what I want to do is so the reason I enable this for the you know the users themselves. Um, this one actually gives you an email address to contact, which is kind of interesting. So um, users can go here and see this themselves, and then you know maybe this you know maybe they need to go to tonline.de, okay? Maybe maybe that service provider will help them. Uh, now I did do this on uh, the Yahoo addresses. Uh, I went to one of them. Let me see if I can find a Yahoo address. Um, oh, what it is. Yes, you don't find anything useful here. But on SendGrid, SendGrid has this documentation on what to do. So it talks a little bit about it. And, and then um, you can do some checking of the IP address, I guess. But it also says delisting request form. So Yahoo is mentioned here. Um, so I actually went there. So this this takes you, I believe, to a Yahoo site. And then problems delivering mails to AOL or Yahoo mailboxes. OK, fine. And so then you have this big, long form here that you can fill in, which I did. Um, I, you know, I mean, I did that yesterday. So I don't expect uh, a response yet. Uh, so some of these maybe you know, but but obviously not everybody's on here. I I I see Google, Gmail, but I you know I don't see Hotmail and I don't see uh, AOL and a few others. So I'm not quite sure. Um, I mean, there there seems to be some things that can be done to reach out to these organizations. Now, am I going to go and? You know, go to each of these organizations and say, "Why aren't you receiving my email?" Um, I think not. And um, so, uh, it's kind of going to be on the users to do that. Um, so, I mean, that's that's one of the big reasons for putting. Um, you know, this is a Hotmail user, and under settings, you can get to this. I don't know if this is the best place for it. Um, okay, so you know, but what are the users going to do with this? I mean, are are they prepared to you know to go to Hotmail and say, hey, I'm having this problem here, and then you know, in and I did see on one of them, I saw something that said, hey, uh, you know, this, you know, we're not, you know, we're getting too much email from that server, so you know, we're we're just not receiving email from that server. Change your email server, okay? So sometimes they come back to, and they just sort of push back and say, well, you guys should just send email a different way. And again, no matter where how we send it, there's a chance that that somebody will decide that I, I mean that's just not the solution. You shouldn't be blocking by IP address anyway. Um, it's crazy. Uh, so that's a little bit depressing. But uh, I'm right up against ten minutes, and that's my limit, I think. On on uh, so uh, we're gonna have a meeting on Wednesday. Hopefully, we can talk about that.